Waiting for inspiration to strike. Might I suggest some gung ho platitudes about Christmas in the Commonwealth? That's what they want me to say. I mean, what I want to say. Right. Have you watched it yet? Where's Graham Land? Uh, no, Antarctica. Is it? Is that north or is that south? It's north. No, don't be silly, Mummy. It's south. Does anyone actually know? Oh, yes, because the Arctic is north, and so Antarctica is northern north, isn't it, Dicky? What's northern north? Come. It's time. Good. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses. Uh, children. Good morning. This is Britannia. I'm speaking to you from the edge of the South Pacific. 59 degrees south and 60 degrees west. You'll have to turn the globe upside down to find this place. Indeed, a few of us aboard the Royal Yacht feel a little upside down. Having never been this far from home. <laughs> the remoteness of the location presents one with a precious opportunity to think. About one's own life. One's own way of living. We've travelled the world now and seen all manner of tribes, societies and cultures. We've had endless debates about which places have the best systems of government or justice or the most interesting religions. And we've been amazed and impressed by so much of what we've seen. Naturally, it has led us to examine our own lives and the way we live, the things we take for granted. Is that really Philip? Some sort of... Philip Impersonator. Why? It just sounds so odd. So different. And here I am almost 10,000 miles from London. Surrounded by empty water. It's a fine life on board a ship. But it can be a solitary one. We are men together. But we each stand alone. 